So what I'm doing today is I've pulled out all my diecast models of Formula One World Champions and I'm going to attempt to rank them in order. Um, so I'm looking at all the World Champions from the last 42 years, which is essentially how long I've been alive. Um, I am going to try and do it objectively. So I've watched lots of videos where people have given their opinions on who's better but because the world champions span lots of different eras it's very difficult to come up with a conclusive order so what i've done is i've come up with a mathematical formula for applying some objectivity to this and i'll just show you that now so basically i've come up with this factor that i'm calling the formula von factor the FVF and because the real test of any Formula 1 driver is when they're in the same machinery up against their teammate I'm using this metric here which is the number of full seasons they've beaten their teammate divided by the total full seasons they've competed multiplied by the world championships they've won. So <clears throat> I'll give you an example here. If we look at Mika Hakkinen, he raced in 10 full seasons and he beat his teammate in eight seasons, so 80% of the time, and he won two world championships. So in this case, the FBF is 8 divided by 10, 80%, times 2, which equals 1.6. So I've applied this equation to all 17 world champions and this is the order we get. So in 17th place is Nigel Mansell and he beat his teammate only 46% of the time which is quite interesting so he's the only world champion in the last 40 odd years who actually um, lost to his teammate in more seasons than he beat his teammate and he gets an FBF of 0 0.46. In 16th position we've got Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, he managed to beat his teammate 53% of the time and um, only won one world championship so he gets an FBF of 5, uh, 0.53. Jensen Button comes in at 15th with an FBF of 0.61 and before people point it out yes this is um, actually Barrichello um, but obviously Button did drive the same car. Um, next up in 14th position is Nico Rosberg. Uh, he gets an FBF of 0.64 and yes, this is Lewis Hamilton's car, but again, Nico drove the same car. In 13th, we've got Jack Villeneuve. So Villeneuve beat his teammate 70% of the time and gets an FVF of 0.7. <clears throat> Just ahead of him on 0.71 is Damon Hill. In this nice Williams. And the last of the world champions who only won one world championship is Keke Rosberg. Uh, he beat his teammate 83% of the time and he gets an FVF of 0.83. Okay, now moving on to the multiple world champions. In 10th position, we've got Mika Hakkinen. Uh, he beat his teammate 80% of the time, as I said in my example, and gets an FBF of 1.6. In ninth position, we've got Fernando Alonso. Uh, Fernando gets an FBF of 1.68, and he beat his teammate 84% of the time, so that's pretty high. Uh, moving on to Nicky Lauda. So Nicky is one of our three-time world champions. 
and he gets an FBF of 1.91. And also, uh, with three world champions, ch uh, three world championships, we've got Nelson Piquet, and Piquet gets an FVF of 2.14, beating his teammate 71% of the time. <clears throat> Next up, we got Max Verstappen. Uh, he gets an FVF of 2.33, beating his teammate 78% of the time. And then the last of the three-time world champions, we've got Ayrton Senna. And Ayrton actually um, gets the highest percentage of any of these drivers. Uh, he beat his teammate 90% of the time, and he gets an FVF of 2.7%. Next up, we've got Alan Prost. So Prost won four world championships and he gets an FBF of 3.08, beating his teammate 77% of the seasons he competed. Then we've got Sebastian Vettel and Vettel gets an FBF of 3.2. Uh, he's in third position, so gets on the podium. Then we're on to the seven-time world champions. We've got Michael Schumacher. And Michael Schumacher beat his teammate 76% of the time and gets an FVF of 5.35. What let Schumacher down, really, was um, when he came back after retirement, he lost to Nico Rosberg on several seasons. And then in first position with an FBF of 5.76 and beating his teammate 82% of the time, we've got Lewis Hamilton. So there we go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. It's my, um, my attempt to be as objective as possible at ranking all the world champions. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you think this is a good way to compare them? Or if you've got a better way, do let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and see you again next time.